YouTube welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a review of Revolution's baking oil I don't think that this is a new product but it's new to me like when um, Ulta was having their 20% off sale this is one of the things that I decided that I would pick up and try and I'm gonna read from Ulta's website what this oil is supposed to be about I have seen a few videos on it but not too many so I kind of wanted to try it for myself it says, part skincare, part makeup. Makeup Revolution baking oil contains a unique blend of natural oils that nourish and boost radiance for all skin types. All skin types. From dry to oily. Massage a few drops into the skin before applying makeup to create a silky smooth base. For a long lasting finish, follow with baking powder to set, mattify, and lock in your look. Can also be used to smooth cuticles and dry areas on the body. So I'm a little bit concerned, like if I can use it to like oil my cuticles, is it actually going to be um, a good fit for my foundation? I get oily right across here and my thought is that if I put oil right across here that my foundation is going to break down. We will see. So we're going to use this oil as a primer and I'm going to come back. I'm not good with coming back but I'm going to try to come back at the end of the day and let you see how my foundation is looking I am getting ready to put makeup on to do my videos for this week so I am hoping that this does not turn into an oily disastrous mess so what I am going to do is and I don't even think I have a setting powder down here oh I do have one um, and I'll pull it out in a second but what I'm going to do so it comes with a dropper you do not want to use that whole dropper full I'm just going to use a couple of drops like they said um, let me read to you the oils because I read the oils in here and it sounded pretty natural this is a cruelty free and vegan product so this says it has in it Grapeseed oil, hydrogenated uh, olive oil, sunflower seed oil, or sunflower oil. And they have the chemical name, so I have to like weed through it. It has jojoba seed oil, peach kernel oil, argon oil, and it has some lemon peel oil in it, peppermint oil. And something called geranial and I'm not sure what that is but sounds pretty natural to me so I oh I wanted to tell you you get 0 0.1 0 0.61 fluid ounces or 18 milliliters in this I think that this is a very generous size considering that you only use a couple of drops so we are just going to do come on out one two drops and see what happens so I'm just going to sort of sort of tap it into my skin the smell is not the greatest I will tell you that it is not at all but it's not overwhelming but when you first put it on your face you do kind of smell okay so I think, let's put a little bit on my nose. I think that that is all that I am going to put on to cover my face. My face feels smooth. Um, it looks a little glowy. I will take just a little bit, not even a whole drop. I just kind of touched the dropper to the back of my hand. I do want to put a little bit extra here. And I should probably be using that finger. I want to put a little bit extra here because we do get a little dry and wrinkly under the eyes here. And we'll see if this helps. Like when I used that multi-use oil from Wet n Wild last week under my eyes, it did do very well with helping me smooth out my um, foundation or my concealer up under my eyes. So I am going to apply my foundation. I'm <laughs> apply my foundation and I will be right back.
All right, so I am back with my makeup fully completed for my videos for the week. I decided not to set my um, foundation after using the oil because I like the way my skin looks. It looks glowy, but it doesn't look overly oily, which I am amazed at. Like even in this area right here, my skin feels balanced. So I'm happy about that. So I am gonna come back Mm, probably in some hours. Um, I'm going to try. It is now, let's see. It is now 1131 in the morning. So it's 1131. I'm going to try to come back maybe at 4 and then again at 8 o'clock. I'll put alarms on my phone so I remember to come back at 4 and then at 8 o'clock. Um, so I can show you how my foundation is wearing or how my makeup is wearing with that oil up under it as a primer so stay tuned because I am quite intrigued all right welcome back I am looking at my clock back here and it is 403 in the afternoon and this is what my face is looking like um this is a little oily in here this side doesn't look too bad as far as the area where I get oily at it is not very oily at all so what I think is that the oil sort of balances out your skin this is just my thought I am not a chemist I did not create the product but my skin feels very balanced where I normally get oily is slightly oil but not oily but not as oily as it could be so, so far I am impressed with this bacon oil. So I'm gonna get all up in your face and show you that this is what my skin is looking like with the baking oil. I will be back one more time at eight o'clock to do my final check-in with this bacon oil and let you see what my skin is looking like then. So far I have not blotted at all and you know I'm 100% honest I have not blotted at all when I come back at 8 I will let you know if I blotted I will actually probably use a blotting sheet I'll try to remember to grab my blotting sheets and come down here and blot so you can see what the oil production is like right across here in this area so I'll be back in a few hours bye this is my last check-in for the makeup revolution baking oil the time is now 7.48. I got as close to 8 o'clock as I could. I'm actually doing some laundry, so I came down here to get that. So I decided I would go ahead and do my final check-in. And I did bring my blotting papers. First of all, I will let you see what my face is looking like. I think overall, not too bad. I don't feel super oily in this area, but we're going to do the blotting paper test here to see how oily I am. And that right there is not too bad. And on that side, that was really a mess. It is a little bit more oily. I want to do my forehead. And that's not really oily at all for less than I have put on foundations and checked in later on they have been way more oily than this for me to be using a oil I call it like an oil primer they call it a baking oil a oil that you put under your foundation I thought that by the end of the day my face would be an oily mess it actually kind of let me check my chin too we'll use this other little corner here it actually sort of eaten no oil at all on my chin it actually pretty much evened out the oily areas so I, I didn't get super oily and I'm very shocked very shocked this paper could have been almost transparent with oil but it was not it did a very good job I am very impressed with it I am going to continue to use it especially up under my eyes where I feel like I get 
sort of crepey or kind of wrinkly in the concealer sort of cakes into the fine lines and I was looking for a replacement for that elf cream that you used to put under your eyes and I can't find anymore. I think this is what I'm going to use in the place of that. I am very impressed. Um, I think the price of it was either eight or nine dollars. So it's nine dollars and actually Ulta is currently having a sale where you buy one and you get the other product for half off a Makeup Revolution product. So a steal. So that is going to be going into my rotation. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.